most of the time, we have done this research and we find out many times people need to set up a meeting immediately after an email. I get an email that, hey, we need to talk about this. The immediate next step is set up an email. Now, typically, the experience would be, OK, find who all needs to be in that email, find the time slot, find the whole thing, and do that. In today, in Outlook 2010, you could just go ahead and say reply with a meeting. When you say reply with a meeting, a few things happen. It will take all the people in that email thread. It will create a calendar item for you. And it will create an email with the original thread and everything inside it. So you could just go ahead and set that, that uh, mail thread into it's a bit clumsy walking around here. So you could just set it up in a way that all the guys just quickly get into a meeting and huddle together. Now, you could do it in the past. It's not that you couldn't, but it would involve five or six steps. Go go to your calendar view, Create pick up the, the time slot, and exactly. Yeah. Ha this thing? Yeah. I mean, you see that all the, I get meeting requests say, hey, let's meet on this. And you know, you're thinking, well, why are you sending me an email to let's meet on this? Send me an, send me a calendar request directly. But it, it's just habit, right? People don't want to. So yes, okay, I'm going to do this one click. Why don't you just yeah. put the score of that? So yeah, that's the other thing. So the photograph thing is not working. But the other thing that I wanted to quickly call out was we brought in. All of you guys have Facebook accounts. Yeah. Most people have. Uh, LinkedIn? My father-in-law, who's 60 year old, has one. Come on. My mom came on Facebook <laughs> just as an aside the other day. I'm still deciding whether to add her or not. And it's, I haven't really accepted it. No, don't. It. Just, just, do it, right? Trouble. just do it. You see, the problem is, it's one of those, those catch-22 situations. You're doomed if you do, you're doomed if you don't. So I'm like holding back as long as possible. Create limited, another limited Rashish. Yeah, uh -huh. limited profile, you know. So. And, and this whole <laughs> social networking phenomenon has just taken a, a, a life of its own over the last few years. So what we want to do is, and, 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 and as Bharat talked about the millennials coming in, people want social networking as, as their way to communicate and collaborate. So what we have announced is uh, this thing called the Outlook Social Connector SDK. We're not going to show it to you today because uh, the, the demos aren't there yet. What that means is any third party can build plugins into Outlook to build the social experience in. The one party that we have announced so far is LinkedIn. Come to think of it, LinkedIn, professional networking, professional email, there's a very natural fit to it. So LinkedIn is building a, a plugin into Outlook where you could just you know, go ahead and, and get the. Yeah. But uh, even out of the box, there are some features built in. Like for example, uh, this guy hasn't uploaded his picture on his SharePoint yet, but every email, you can see the, the picture of the guy coming in. So you know how he or she looks. Uh, because many a times, you know, want to know. <laughs> it's like if you get all these emails. It, it adds another dimension to the mail, especially when you work in a global company like, like, like Microsoft. Or in fact, even most companies in Singapore have offices in other parts of the, uh, you know, of the region. And it's like you get this mail, and like, okay, you want to know who this person looks like, right? And 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 what you know when when you saw that reply all, there was a whole bunch of uh, um, uh, photographs. And of course, it has to be uploaded at the corporate network level. But you can add that so that it adds another dimension to to, to folks. We've already started using that in Microsoft, um, and and I just really like that. I, you know, I get a mail from somebody, and I'm like, what is this person? Who is this person? Of course, I got a person today with, who had put a picture of a monkey with a cigarette in the mouth. Um, but that was just a bit of a joke. But you know, it adds another dimension to make this more meaningful, right? Yeah. Okay, so. So, so let's move on. What it also does is things like uh, what other activities this fellow has done. Like, for example, what attachments has he sent to you? What meetings in the past that he has done? Because what happens is, oh, I get an email. This fellow three months ago sent me an email with an attachment that I need to refer to. It brings all that history in For that in person the conversation. right there. So it's very easy to sort of get started and, and become productive very quickly. Let me just go ahead quickly and show you some other things, which we call quick steps. For example, most of the email we figured out happened to go to your team. So we created a special button for it, which we call team email. If I click it, it automatically knows who's in my immediate team. What do I mean by immediate team? Me, my manager, and anybody, everybody else who's reporting to that manager. That's my team. Okay, it's set up in the back, all the... the you don't have to set up a DL yeah. and figure out, okay, let me set it's up all done for you. It's just done for you. So what that means is in my team currently, there are three people. It's me, 
It's Bharat, my manager, and Katy, my colleague. So if I press on, on send to team or, or team email, it just pre-populates that. Small things, but that bring a lot of value to us as end users. Now, let me. Uh, the other thing you might want to do is reply and delete. Many times, very simple thing. I don't need. I, I don't need to give that email. I just reply to that email and delete the whole thing from my thread. All right. So let me go ahead and show some things in the calendar view. That's the other place people spend a lot of their time uh, getting in. So I have these things called my calendar. I have also my team's calendar. So for example, if I click on my team's calendar it will automatically go ahead and pull Bharat's calendar and Ketty's calendar in one view that I could just quickly see that, let's say if I want to meet today, these are all three of our calendars combined in one view. We spend a lot of time trying to figure out who needs to be in a meeting and when that fellow is free. Is if it provided they've given permission or is it just Yes, so you need to have permission. Need so have permission the team, by default, yeah. the permission is on, but you can switch it off depending on how you want to do it. So you can have the full, so if I know, if I need to meet these guys, the only time I'm they're available is around 6 o'clock today. So these small things spend, a, you know, take a lot of our time. There are some companies who don't even have an integrated email today. That's even worse. That's sending over email. Does Friday 2 o'clock work for you? Three guys will say yes, two will say no. Then you have another series of email that just bugs you for the rest of the day. So all of these small experiences add up to a lot of time for the information worker like you and me. Um, Harish and Bharat talked about this thing called software plus services and our vision of how the best experience is what matters to an end user. Now, this the client software, and then there are services coming in from the cloud. How do we make sure that people get the best experience across these two? Let me show you Outlook Web Access. You may notice I'm running it in, in Firefox. So this is Outlook in Firefox running Outlook web app. So I'm going to just go ahead and sign in to this Outlook experience and see what happens. This is full fidelity viewing as we were doing on the client side, all right? Which means things like I could do multiple selects. I could do select multiple. I can drag and drop and, and do things like that. I can have the conversation view, so I can arrange it by conversation and have the conversation view. Even some more, I could just go ahead and show and share my presence information. It's on the web. Yeah. We're taking that experience that, as we said, it's about giving you the ability to have that same experience across the PC, phone, and browser. Right? So you saw what we saw on the desktop, that was the Outlook client, and now you're in the cloud. You're using a Firefox browser. You want to do, can you show that? Can yeah. You do that side by side. Uh, but this is this is assuming you've got um, Exchange set up. Everything. Out yes. Yes. Web yeah. application. Oh, yeah. Yes. You yeah. need to exchange the back. So I can't do that if you know with my web mail. And my so that's a good opportunity. To go a good opportunity. Have a conversation with, conversation with your IT guy and say you need Exchange. So you want to take the password and show us? <laughs> I want to show you, we want to show you side by side the view of, you know, what is on premise, what is on your desktop, and what's in the cloud. Okay. Okay. Can you, are you able to do that or? No. So I'm, um, so basically, this is my client inbox, and this is my browser inbox. Okay. They look the same. So if you the phrase, the, yeah. the phrase that we use is high fidelity viewing and lightweight editing. Now, you don't want to do a lot of things in the browser. For example, you don't want to write uh, one complex Excel spreadsheet in a browser. But you want to be able to do lightweight editing. Yet, the experience should be as close as possible to both the PC as well as up in the browser. Now, what, if I, what if I use Mac? Uh, if you use Mac, we support Safari as well. So this thing is available in Safari, as you see. My status has now changed. It's currently as do not disturb because I'm in a meeting. You can also see all your messenger as well as communicator contacts right built into the browser. And you could go ahead and fire off a conversation with any of them in the browser and have a conversation. 